The first time around when I came to Sitka and participated in the residency, I was just amazed with how magical Sitka is. It's just a creative, a natural, like beautiful spot. And then working collaboratively for the first time one-on-one -on -one with a printmaker that is, Julia is an amazing person to work with. She's so meticulous. She gives you such great feedback and just leads you through the process step by step and you feel like you're a pro and you're just doing it for the very first time. Yeah, those are my first impressions. Working in a new medium like printmaking, how does it inform my broader work? I think one of the things about printmaking for me, the way I see it, it's very much part of my practice with drawing. And drawing for me is like the heart of thinking, thinking conceptually about my projects, about what my work is really about at its core. And I think what printmaking did for me, working with Julia, because I'd never done an etching before in my life. I'd probably done a monotype, which is like painting, uh, which is my background. So it really slowed me down in that process of thinking through ideas, thinking about the message and the materiality of the plate and the process. So I think going back to it, I really want to incorporate and coming back again as a second time recipient of the Schnitzer printmaking residency, I really feel like I can work through these ideas even more, incorporate this concept of drawing and thinking and step-by-step -step plate making in my practice better. So this process uh, for the anniversary portfolio project, the image that I picked was inspired from a series I did in 2005, uh, which was based off of a photographic series called One Nation, and there depicts the American flag, and I'm actually the performer in these photographs, and I'm working with these shards or these shredded up uh, shards of the flag, the fabric itself of our nation. And when I looked back at those photographs, and today in 2020, basically two weeks after our election, I really wanted to confront this nationalism, this white supremacy, and as an artist of color, coming from Pakistan as a Muslim woman, I really wanted all those images to coalesce. And uh, the piece itself, uh, I think, speaks for itself. It's kind of wrapped and shrouded in this, these flags, and there are bits coming out of my mouth, almost like strangling, gagging, but also like sort of embodying what it is to be an American. Well, this program at SIDCA, sponsored by the Jordan Stitcher Foundation, is invaluable. And both SIDCA, the place itself, the support they provide, the nourishment they provide, and then the, the foundation, how they have supported me in my career, coming here as an artist, moving to Portland. The Schnitzer is actually foundation provided uh, support for my job at PSU and then this position as well. So this particular program I think is a gem because we've been able to come back twice now, work with Julia and be able to like create, really reinforce those ideas that I have been working with and learn all those different techniques all over again and solidify them. And I'm also in a collaboration with all these other artists that I get to see their work and we're almost in this larger family of Sidka and the Jordan Foundation and the artists themselves. So thank you so much. We really appreciate your support. Yeah. I think one of the special things about any artist residency, but in particular the Sidka one, it allowed me with two young children and a mother-in-law and a very busy life in Portland to leave, come to this place and to really concentrate. And in such a short time, two weeks, I mean, I think we had actually five working days and nine working days on the, so nine days I made 10 plates, unbelievable, and like six giant pl prints. I mean, it really taught me what is possible as an artist uh, raising a family and what I can do with these residencies is really come prepared to work and then really throw myself into it. And that's what I've done every time. And 
really appreciate that.